Welcome to this video on setting up a quick poll in a Teams meeting. So if you haven't already got the app added to your meeting, you need to go ahead and do that first. And then you can create and share polls in the chat to get some quick feedback and answers. And that can be anonymous as well, which sometimes give you a better answer than asking people to open up their microphones or type in the chat box. So I can't see polls at the top, so I'm going to go to apps. And when that pops up, I'm going to search for poll at the top. And you can see the second option down is polls. And I'm going to add that to my meeting. And it's just going to add that as another tab at the top. And it'll immediately open a box on the right hand side for me to get started. And what's really cool about this is you get suggestions. So you can see some quick questions there. You can launch some instant polls at the bottom, like how's everyone feeling? Yes or no? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Or you can create a brand new poll, any sort of question you want. So I'm going to click on create a new poll. And then I've got the option to do a multiple choice, a quiz, a word cloud, so I can get people to type in responses, how they're feeling, what their first thought is about a product, a rating or a ranking. So select whichever one works best for you. I'm going to select multiple choice and then I get a question um, and some answer boxes. And again, you do get suggestions. It really tries to help you out. If you've used any in the past, you may see that you can use them again very quickly. It does remember. So I'm going to do how are you feeling about the new processes? You can add an image if you want to as well, which is a really nice feature or insert media. So I'm going to do keep adding options. Let's put not sure. unhappy and I can add I can give them the option to add multiple or tick on multiple options as well but I just want a one feeling from them now you may notice a little bit further down you can add another question because you can do multiple questions at the same time and then launch them at the same time so you get all of your answers in one go depends on how you want to work in your meeting and what you are asking that's probably great if you're doing a quiz and you want to check people's knowledge and ask them a couple of questions in one go rather than having to go backwards and forwards and just notice it says names not recorded results shared if i do click on that i'll be able to make any changes to how that data is shared before i go ahead and either save as draft to launch later or i can launch now by clicking on launch now and that will automatically add it to the chat and as a user it will pop up in the middle of the screen for everyone to answer. So really, really nice process. And if I say I am excellent, and obviously I could have probably done with changing those answers around a little bit, and click on submit, then that information has popped in to the detail. So I can see it in polls, but if I go to the chat box, I can also see it in there as well. And everyone who has access to this in this one can see that detail. So a really, really quick way of creating a bit of engagement and adding some questioning and getting some feedback in your team's meetings. Have a go at that. Please do check out the rest of the videos in this channel. Please do like and subscribe and do let me know if there's any other videos you would like me to record.